Hi everyone, this is Judy from Happy Holistics and today we're going to be making a travel essential oils kit. Now I say travel, but you can always take it to work or to camping, pretty much anywhere that is not a scent free zone. You do want to be mindful around people with allergies and not use essential oils, simply because even though they are natural products, they can still trigger allergenic responses in sensitive individuals. Since some essential oils also smell like medicine or unpleasant to some people, you do want to be respectful of other people around you. You'll need some glass essential oil bottles. I chose 1 ml containers for their portability. A container to keep them all together. I would stick to a hard case container just like this tin, simply for the extra protection. I wouldn't want my glass bottles to break in a cloth bag or have a Ziploc bag splitting on me. The size will depend on how many oils you want to keep with you and how big your bottles are. Your must-have essential oils. This list will be different depending on your needs and what you can't live without. I'll share with you which ones I use the most towards the end of this video. You'll also need labels, washi tape, and a pen work just fine. My writing is neither tiny nor legible, so I printed mine. You could also buy them, but they're kind of pricey. Choose your oil so you know how to size and customize the rest of your kit. Fill your travel size containers. Snap on the orifice reducers, then screw on the lids. Label as you go. Make sure you have a container big enough to fit all the ones you want to take. I don't like them to move so much so I've got an empty placeholder for whenever I want to add another oil. Here are my picks. Peppermint. Lavender, tea tree, eucalyptus, lemon, and oil of oregano. The only oil I bring everywhere with me is peppermint for headaches. It's also great for repelling spiders, reducing nausea, and reducing motion sickness. For travel, I bring lavender for good sleep, spot treatment for pimples, it's great for burns and bug bites, and it's also great for headaches. Tea tree is also good for pimples and bug bites, but since I've got lavender that does that and more, I can leave this at home. I'm mentioning it so that you would know that you can use whichever oils you have on hand if they already have a similar action. You don't have to go out and buy a new bottle of oil. I like eucalyptus for clearing the sinuses or using it for colds. It also helps to repel bugs, so if you're camping or spending time in nature, you can apply a couple of drops before you go out. For lemon, don't laugh, but I like to have it on hand to remove sticky goo and to clean stuff up. Like, you never know when you might roll over a piece of gum with your luggage and it just sticks there or leaves residue. It also smells really nice, so it's a great pick-me-up. If you're concerned about getting sick, oil of oregano is antibacterial, antifungal, and antiparasitic, but I'd bring the full size. Oil of oregano is diluted, while oregano essential oil is not. Since both are still super potent, you might consider adding a carrier oil before filling the entire bottle. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, DIYs or essential oils, please leave me a comment below. Also remember to like up this video and subscribe to my channel. See you next week!